Good morning. Today is December 26th, and I had such a full day yesterday that I did not even get a chance to pick up this camera until it came to opening up gifts with my family, which was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I had been on my, I had been on my feet the whole day just trying to get everything together and then about <clears throat> one o'clock, a little bit before one, everybody started piling in and had a wonderful day. And I hope you had a wonderful day too. Hey, we are going out the door to go to Duran Farms because she is closed all next week for inventory. And so everything this week, she has 40 to 50 percent off. So we're gonna go there and get a few items that we can either freeze or put in the pantry so that we can save a little bit of money. I will talk to you later. Just got back from Duran Farms and I thought I'd show you what I got. Okay, this is the box. I ended up getting some poultry seasoning because I was up in my spice area and I noticed that I was almost empty. Some roasted salted pumpkin seeds. I got two packs of them. Keep in mind, all this was either 40 to 50% off. Some salted um, sunflower seeds. A sweet pepper relish. And this is roasted pineapple habanero sauce. My husband loves this, so does my grandson and my one son. And a hot pepper relish. Oops, sorry, I kind of was searching, thought I forgot this. I bought another hot pepper relish because I want to give this to my son. I wanted to get two of these, but they didn't have. This was the only one they had left, so I bought them that. And as you can see here, I got one, two, three, four, five, six butters. Each of these are two pounds, so these were 50% off. And then I got four pounds of ground beef that is grass fed from um, a Mennonite family from the area that sells that. So that's everything that I got. And well, my, I went ahead and picked up my gluten free pretzels. So that was, that was pretty much everything. And normally, this stuff is kind of expensive, like the butter is normally $10 each, and so I got it for five. And that's why I bought so many, because I'm just gonna freeze them, and that way I'll have them. And I think I did a good job at saving money. Just some of the fun things about the day after Christmas. Lots of goodies left over. And lots of leftover cookies. In fact, I have more in containers that I will probably end up putting in the freezer. We are going to be heading out to my son's house to watch the football game. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, but my husband is actually just thrilled. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Detroit, which is my son's team that he likes, and my husband's is the Cowboys. So, go Cowboys. Yeah, go Cowboys. What can I say? Anyways, I'll talk to you later. Good evening. I hope you had a wonderful day after Christmas. We had a very peaceful one until we got a call late in the afternoon. I guess I was looking for a clock to see what time it was, but I don't forgot there's not one in here on the wall. But anyways, um, a very precious older lady from our church is not doing well. She took a turn for the worse through the early morning hours today and my husband went to the nursing home to visit with her and she's not expected to to live many more days if even a couple but God was so good to her and her family because 
yesterday she was able to go home with her children and spend the entire day with them. She was able to walk around and talk and conversate and enjoy the Christmas meal and open gifts. She was able to see the sonogram picture of her great, great grandchild, which will be her first. So God was very good to this precious lady and she will soon be going and be with her Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And she's, she's much loved. But tonight I wanted to speak on Colossians, verse 3, 17. And you know what? I really should have put on a brighter light because I'm having a problem reading the verse. So if you see me struggling a little bit, it's because it's it doesn't look like it's dim in here by my camera, but behind me it is. Whatever you do or say, do it as a representative of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks through him to God the Father. You know, if you're one who believes in God, you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you have him as your personal savior, sometimes it can be tempting to act in front of other people like you're the perfect child. After all, you want to put God in a good light and in a positive light before others. And you really would rather not have others see all of your mistakes and maybe the many questions that even you still have. You don't want people to see your imperfections. And well, maybe if they see those imperfections and know that you have questions, that they might think that God isn't that powerful after all, right? Wrong. Every person who's honest with themselves knows that they are a work in progress. There's always going to be room for growth. Just take a look at the heroes in the Bible, for instance. Often, they totally blew it. Sometimes, they blew it big time. We read about some of their failures, as well as the victories, because God values authenticity and honesty. Being open to acknowledge your strengths and your struggles, your doubts as well as your successes, your breakthroughs as well as failures is a real life visual aid on how we truly are. It's a reflection on how good God is. Don't be afraid to show yourself, your true self. God's power will shine through the brightest when you're honest and you allow your true self to shine in other people's lives because they can relate None of us are perfect. None of us can possibly even pretend to live a perfect life. We will always slip up and we will always fail, fail. But we have a God who loves, who forgives, who helps, who instructs, who guides, and above all, who cares. Teresa 
of Avelia, and I might not be pronouncing that right, said this, bring your soul to the great physician exactly as you are, even and especially at your worst moment. For it is in such moments that you will most readily sense his healing presence. And so with that, I will say good night. And remember, life happens. Let's enjoy it and be true to others in your failures, in your successes, because God is using you as a visual aid to draw them to Him. Good night. God bless.